let me welcome you my dear students this is our third learning session of classical and renaissance drama with bs english fourth semester my dear students if you remember what we did last time we tried to learn about the aeschylus and the uh, summary and characters and symbols and themes in prometheus bound so my dear students it was totally about our previous lecture now we are going to discuss about the outline that today we are going to discuss about the introduction to sophocles and the summary of oedipus rex and characters of oedipus rex and themes and aristotelian tragedy in oedipus rex so my dear students let's discuss it one by one means we are going to discuss about the sophocles my dear students let me tell you about the sophocles that he was born in 495 before christ about a mile northwest of athens sophocles was to become one of the great playwrights of the golden age and he was wrestler musician general and politician i means he was a good politician and he was very handsome and successful so in his first competition sophocles took first prize that was a goat and uh, means an accomplished actor so we can simply say that about him that he is i uh, means he was an accomplished actor sophocles performed in many of his own plays however his voice was comparatively weak and eventually he would give up his acting career to pursue other ventures so uh, let me tell you about the family of the uh, sophocles means he had two sons the iphon by his uh, first wife nicostrata and the uh, second one is the aristron from his second wife the name of the second wife was theoresis theores and uh, the uh, if we talk about the works of sophocles uh, let me tell you about his works men uh, sophocles wrote more than 120 plays means only seven have survived in this entire or uh, entirety so let me tell you about his uh, uh, famous works that is the ajax and it was written between uh, means it was written in 447 BCE in if you talk about the uh, antigone that was about means that was performed about 440 442 442 441 BCE and uh, if you talk about the tragedy that was uh, means uh, performed about 437 to 432 BCE and means we can simply say that means 432 to 437 means it was not totally Uh, the perfect figure but we are going to discuss about means these are the things if we talk about the oedipus rex it was performed in 429 bc and if we talk about the electra it was uh, means between the 440 14 to 418 bce and if we talk about the philoctetes philoctetes means uh, the uh, philoctetes and it was uh, totally about uh, means it was uh, uh, means performed in 409 bce if you talk about the oedipus at colonus it was uh, means uh, performed uh, in a uh, 401 and before bce so uh, let's discuss about the characteristics of the sophocles writing means he emphasizes on individual character means he reduces the role of chorus we can simply say that mean uh, he wrote the complex characters means uh, the complex characters were means psychological well motivated and if you talk about the exposition means he used exposition carefully motivated and scenes suspensefully climatic means if we read about and it means if we read any of any text of the sophocles we can simply say that mean it is full of suspense so let's discuss the other characteristics means the actions are clear and logical means poetry is clear and beautiful if we talk about means uh, means is his few elaborate visual effects and theme emphasize on the choice of the people so it was about the 
means the introduction or the biography of the Sophocles. So let's discuss about the Oedipus Rex. So my dear students, uh, let me discuss about the story when Thyrises, who is a blind prophet, tells Oedipus parents, King Lais and the Queen Jocasta, that their son will one day kill Lais and marry Jocasta, means Lais orders the death of Oedipus. So we can simply say that he assigned the task to a shepherd and um, a shepherd takes the infant's uh, Oedipus out to kill him but he cannot do it. He leaves him on the top of the mountain and a family finds young Oedipus and takes him in. When simple is that he was adopted. So the next one is the when Oedipus is a young adult he hits the road. He bumps into the king lays on the road a fight ensues and Oedipus kills the king. So uh, here Oedipus pride leads to the his downfall means he kills his biological father fulfilling part of the oracle's prophecy. Then Oedipus then went on to solve the Sphinx. And what is the uh, means that was the what is the creature that walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three in the evening? To this, Oedipus answered, "When it is the man characteristics, when distrusting that the, his riddle had been answered correctly, the Sphinx threw himself off the uh, the side of the wall." So Oedipus travels to the thieves in order to. Uh, get uh, get into the city he must solve the riddle he solved the riddle become the king of the thieves then marries the newly widowed queen jacasta which which was basically his biological mother thus a uh, prophecy was fulfilled a female from with the wings of a bird the I means uh, body of an animal explains about the things then we can simply say that it that was the sphinx and uh, due to the sphinx uh, he becomes the uh, king of the thieves then uh, after the marrying then the, he had four kids the uh, simple is that Eteclus, uh, Eteclus and uh, Polynes Ismene and Antigone means these are the names of his uh, uh, means kids. So the next is a prize tells the Oedipus about the condition of the thieves means what was the condition a uh, condition was a plague is killing many of the uh, means the people and m means many of the land and it was basically the destroy of the land and its crops and as well as uh, means um, yeah, means fertility of the women was uh, furnished means simple is that we can say that it the plague was uh, the uh, barrenness in the uh, uh, females of the uh, thieves and barrenness in the land so Oedipus searches for lace murderer and promises to exile the man responsible for it ignorant of the fact that he is the murderer so the blind prophet uh, Thyrises is called to aid a Oedipus in his search. However, after uh, after warning, Oedipus not to follow through uh, means through with the investigation. Oedipus accuses him of being the murderer, even though Thyrises is blind and aged. But Oedipus also accuses Thyrises of conspiracy or the conspiring with Creon, Jocasta's brother to overthrow him. So this was about means the uh, story then we can simply say that Oedipus then called for uh, one of the Lay's former servant the only surviving witness of the murderer or the murder means who fled the city uh, when uh, Oedipus become king to avoid being the one to reveal the truth so in the uh, subsequent discussion between the uh, oedipus jacasta the servant jacasta and the servant and the messenger jacasta guesses the truth and runs away oedipus is stubborn and uh, however a second messenger arrives and reveals that jacasta has hanged herself so oedipus upon discovering her 
body blinds himself with the golden brooch on her dress so the plays end with oedipus uh, the uh, suffrage means he blind himself and leaves the exile as the promised would be the fate of the lace murderer so it was about the summary of the oedipus rex now we are going to discuss about the characters means the major characters are the uh, oedipus edip who is oedipus oedipus is the king of thebes as a young man who saved the uh, city of the thebes by solving the riddle of the sphinx and destroying the monster he now sets about the finding the murderer of the former king lais to save the thebes from plague Uh, the next one is the uh, creon means the second in command in thebes brother in law of oedipus he is uh, oedipus trusted advisor selecting to go to the oracle to delphi to seek the apollo adv- means uh, advice of the apollos in saving the city of uh, from the plague then the next one is the jacasta jacasta is the queen of thebes wife of oedipus she was the widow of the thebes former king lais and uh, married oedipus who saved the city from the sphinx the next one is the thyrises who is a blind prophet who has guided the king of thebes with the advice and uh, and counsel he was accused by the oedipus of being the plotter against the throne so it was about the characters or the major characters now we are going to discuss about the minor characters the minor characters are chorus and the corinthians messenger and shepherd second messenger lais delphi antigone ismene polybus and merop So now we are going to discuss about the chorus. Chorus is the group of it is the group of uh, Theban uh, elders and their leaders who comment on the events of the drama and react to the tragic progression. The next one is the Corinthian uh, messenger means a man brings news of the royal family to the Oedipus. and the next one is the shepherd means shepherd was the person who was assigned the task of the oedipus murder then the second messenger means who is the man who comes from the place the palace to announce the death of the queen and um, the blindness or the blinding of oedipus then lais is the king means the old king of the thebes and the father of oedipus the next character is the delphi means in delphi is an oracle that uh, predicts oedipus will kill his father and sleeps with his mother then the antigone means antigone is the daughter of oedipus she leads her blind father on his travel and serves his needs then ismene ismene is the daughter of oedipus sister of antigone she lives in thebes and brings her father and sister news while they stay in colonus then the polybus polybus means oedipus uh, sur- uh, surrogate father in corin uh, means corinth corin uh, corinth and the ruler of the corinth then the next one is the merop who is the means uh, surrogate mother of the oedipus and the uh, means ruler in the corinth then the next one is the themes we are going to discuss about the theme of blindness theme of appearance versus reality means quest or truth and the power and plague and hell then hubris means guilt and shame fate self discovery pride hate a fall the next theme is the justice and willing to ignore the truth the oedipal complex then the origin and children and conscious crime and the last one is the human greatness now we are going to discuss about the blindness means we can find in it the physical blindness as well as intellectual if we talk about the physical blindness it is fine it is found in oedipus means oedipus blind himself then the intellectual oedipus inability to see the truth means ignorant 
or the ignorance the next one is the appearance versus reality means a physical blind prophet thyrises can see the truth about the oedipus means oedipus has perfect physical vision however he is blind and ignorant the truth about himself and his past so the next one is the quest of truth means oedipus sets upon the adventure of finding the truth and discovers the painful truth of his own then the next one is the power means power corrupts a man means this is a famous uh, we can simply say that the famous saying must it is true in it mean power corrupts man means oedipus words expresses power over people means he uses his power for forcing the thyrises and the shepherd to speak out the truth then the plague and health if we talk about the plague means thieves is suffering from renders the fields and the women barrenness so as the source of this plague is lays murderer and health comes with the blindness of the oedipus rex or the um, means the punishment of the king murderer the next one is the hubris means a greek term used for expresses the excessive pride or overconfidence means oedipus claims of knowing everything after defeating the sphinx means he would find the culprit and solve the plague too then when the next one is the guilt and shame means guilt and sin exist in the city and a sinful person who needed to be banished in order to get rid of the plague means oedipus obsessed with the idea of punishing that person and finds himself guilty and is filled with shame because of his past the next one is the fate mean if we talk about the fate mean is forced upon a person if um, an individual is fated to do something the divine force have already determined that course of action for him the next one is the self confidence and self discovery i'm sorry it's self discovery and we can simply say that the self discovery is the count no man happy till the till he dies means it leads to the self discovery in this play then the pride hate a fall means through oedipus is nor not ignorant means we can simply say that the great pride in his past exploits of defeating the sphinx means then brags it to the beginning i am oedipus means it is full of pride and it it is his pride that hates a fall in this play or the drama and tells prize of zeus and people that he has solved the famous riddle and assures his people that he would again find the culprit living in thebes who is the cause of this play then the next one is the justice if we talk about the justice in oedipus past the curse and the punishment remain a mystery then the leader asks oedipus to rule the city uh, means justly and end the plague as it is his duty and he discovers his part that is very shameful and painful and a bitter truth is revealed as i told you means the his past is full of shame and sin and it is full of pain so it takes the punishment upon himself by blinding himself through the golden brooch then the willing to ignore the truth we can find these things in jacasta and edipus who get close to the truth about lace murderer and uh, means edipus hangs on the hope that he he may be innocent but jocasta say means he uh, is simple as that she she says she was told lace was killed by the group of robbers means strangers however edipus is aware that he killed a man alone in similar uh, circumstances this is the moment where in oedipus must seek the truth but jocasta and oedipus react to the servant's story as history because 
means both cannot think that what will occur if the servant were wrong the next one is the adipose complex the adipose complex is the phenomena in which boys are condemned to follow their unconscious sexual desires or the drives to the sleep with their mother and feel hatred toward his father and we find the adipose complex theme in this play the next one is the origin and children means adipose embarks upon a search for his own origins means he doesn't realize it for his real parents as a child of his own wife and thus father and brother of his own sister means uh, children so please explore various interpretations or interrelationship between uh, where things begin and who fathered who similarly the play itself works backward toward the uh, revelatory start the story has in fact already happens and oedipus is forced to discover his own history so my dear students it was about the lecture means this is about our lecture thank you so much allah hafiz